you guys. Last time you saw us, we just had a baby. A boy nonetheless. Little Vincent is here. I think he's pretty happy because pretty sure both Preston and I are basically just bragging to one another. Like, look at this. We're showing each other off our baby. We're like, look at our baby. We're gonna both show off to each other how awesome our little child is. We love him. We can't get out of the room because we're obsessed. And Preston's health bar is at yellow because I think we've been just standing in Vincent's room probably for 24 hours now because we can't, we can't leave. Anytime he breathes, anytime he smiles, anytime he, you know, laughs. I don't know. We get very concerned about Vincent. Preston, it's okay, he's asleep now. You know, you can shower. I mean, that's probably what he needs to do, let's be real. Yeah, the bathroom light is on, guys. Anyways, we have been very good parents, I will say so myself. And so, I think we are ready for a new level of responsibility. You know what, I'll play as Preston for a minute so maybe he can, you know, take care of this need. Oh. Actually, that's inappropriate. We have to do this off camera. One second. Let's do this in privacy. He is going to show you guys. We are going to be doing something very big this episode. Preston, let's go show him. Okay, since you guys last saw us, we have created a new room. Look, it's brand new. It is right off this beautiful sunroom. It's so pretty. It's so just outdoorsy and relaxing, but it's far away, you know, from the main part of the house. And then when you look on the other side, Side. Oh, casual, you can't really see it. I am so glad you can't really see it. Well, maybe you should keep the surprise going for a little bit longer. No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna make sure you see it. It's a cat or a bunny. I can't really tell because there's a carrot, but it's a doggy cat door. It's an animal door. I built a little room because you guys, since we were so good at being, you know, parents to a real baby, we are ready to become parents to a fur baby. Also, it just said it's almost Vincent's birthday. Wasn't Vincent born like the last time I recorded Sims? I'm very confused by this. I just recorded like last time I played Sims, Vincent was born. Has it been a year since the, I'm very, does, y'all, something does not add up here. It has been a year in the amount of time that I've been playing Sims. I don't feel like it has had that much time pass. Something does not add up here. Vincent, what is going on? Are you now like 24? Will you be 24 if I don't, you know, play? If I play for like a month or so, you're just gonna be elderly by then? Vincent, don't sleep too long, you know? You can't be old too fast, you're cute. I wanted to say it, a little baby. Okay, back to what I was telling you. It is time. They have discussed it. Brianna and Preston have discussed their need and want for a pet and their addition to the household. And I have brought Eloise to the office. So we are going to add a new member to our family. Apparently he's very enthused. So Mrs. Eloise is here today and she is ready. She is so excited, one, to be on camera. She loves it, don't you little cutie? She loves it. And she's ready to be in Sims. She has waited for this moment. Look how pretty she is. She kind of looks like Grumpy Cat. Are you ready to get made in Sims, little one? Okay, so it's time to click add pet. <gasps> Eloise, look. Eloise, let's see if they have Persian on here. They do, Ella. They have Persian cat. Eloise, do you think that looks like you? Tell us how you really feel. We gotta change it. We have to We have to personalize it. Here, now you can talk into the microphone. She's ready to sing. She sings. She's actually pretty vocal. She wakes me up in the morning. She sings to me. She always sleeps on my pillow. She's really snuggly. Okay, so she's definitely gray. It's already looking more like you, Eloise. So we have to change her body, Eloise. How do you feel about that? What is this body? Skinny, more fluffy. You're a fluffy kitty. You like your kitty food? A lot of it is just hair, you guys. It's just hair. She's fluffy, but it's just fluff. Cats don't have many options for tails. What's that about? You have a long fluffy tail. Yeah, that's it. 
color. I mean, you're basically just gray. Are you getting angry? She has a little kind of white by her nose. Let's do it. White, a little bit by her nose right there. Oh, it's cute. You're so cute. Pet clothing? Eloise, what do you think about this pet clothing? Tell us. Tell us your thoughts. But she actually has really cute collars. I buy her really ridiculous collars half the time. I am guilty as charged. Taco Cat! Yes! Taco Cat, spelled backwards, is still Taco Cat. I hope you know this. Dresses? I could put her in a dress. There's no cat dresses. I'm very sad. Okay, I need to change her eye color. This is very important. Eloise has really pretty orange eyes, and she's shy. She doesn't want she doesn't want anybody to see them right now. She's she's getting a little camera shy right now. She's a little tired of y'all looking at her. <gasps> This is getting, this is like looking quite a bit like you now. Y'all, I think this looks a lot like Eloise. What do you think? Eloise, what do you think? Do you think that looks like you? We have to change, her name is Eloise. E-L-O-I-S-E. -E. What is your personality like, Eloise? She's kind of, she's kind of sassy. She's affectionate towards me. <gasps> she's fluffy. She's definitely fluffy. I think you are fluffy, spoiled, and, you know what, I'm gonna go with affectionate. You're a fluffy, spoiled, and affectionate. How do you feel about that? What do you have to say for yourself? She, she agrees. She definitely agrees. Play! Look, we went from just Preston and me to now having a baby and little Eloise. You guys, we are back at the house, and look who is here. Eloise Arsman is now in the toolbar. We have Preston, me, Vincent, and Eloise. How cool, she's so cute in the little toolbar. Okay, so now we have to find her. I feel like we live in a very big, very big house in Sims and I don't really know how you go about finding a cat in here. What if she gets outside? I'm very concerned. Eloise, where'd you go? She just looked over at me like, oh, let's find Eloise. Why did it send me outside? Why is she outside? Why does it say offer friendship? What? Is she not like a part of our family? All of my pets are only indoor because I'm like afraid for them as a cat to go outside. Obviously if it's a dog you can like let it go outside. But my Persian cat should not be just roaming the wilderness. Brianna, go pick her up right now. What is this sad face? Talk to. We love you! Offer friendship. I mean, I definitely want to be Eloise's friend. I just became friends with Eloise. Well, that's good to know. I thought she was my cat. What is Simstagram pet? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Take photo. It's like Instagram, but on Sims? That's so cool! Show filters? Stop, there's even Instagram, Simstagram filters? <gasps> Look at how good that makes her collar pop, yes. Wait, hey, where are you going? I just don't understand. Wait, oh, is she going inside? Eloise is inside the house. She knows this is a room. Oh my goodness, yes. Wait, does she need a cat door? Okay, this is a perfect time for me to go into build mode because this is actually her room and she just knew it. She ran straight for it. Do 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 I don't know what I'm doing. So first of all, we have to figure out what kind of floor a cat needs. Does a cat really have a preference on the texture of their floor? I am not sure, but there are two types of flooring with pet paws on them. So apparently they prefer the old hickory or the sloppy paint. Why? Are you saying that, you know, a uh, animal likes sloppy paint? I think that's kind of rude, actually. Hey, what if my cat likes not sloppy paint? Thank you very much. I think that looks kind of nice, though. I'll go with it. Wall patterns. Eloise is girly. I just have decided this. So I give her pink everything and just really girly stuff. So wallpaper. Do they have any cat and dog wallpaper? Cause that would be kind of fun. Or if they had a wallpaper with fish on it, that'd be funny. Or maybe people don't typically make a whole entire room dedicated to their animals. 
Maybe I'm just really strange. Whoa, what does this look like? That's kind of fun for a cat room. Okay, it would also help if I put lights in here. This is the fanciest cat room I have ever seen. Like, I would live in here. I would make this my bedroom. I definitely think Eloise will be very happy in this cat room. So I searched pet and there's tons of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I definitely have a mat for Eloise's food because as you have noticed, Eloise has a huge, that was, she doesn't have a huge face. That was definitely me saying things wrong. She just has a flat face. So she needs a mat for her food because things get messy. These are kind of cute paws. <gasps> this looks like Eloise. I need this instead. I want this kitty over her food bowl. That's super cute. I can even hang this fish bowl on the wall and it'll be like a little toy for her. It'll like tempt her to play. So we have a bow wow and meow chow food bowl. That's just kind of rolls off the tongue pretty well actually. We're going to go with this fancy modern bowl because Eloise is extra. She needs one for water and one for food. There we go. This still kind of looks off-centered to me, but I'm just gonna ignore it for right now and try to not let it trigger me. Pink bed, how cute. This, this room is cuter than my room. Oh my goodness. I swear this is like way cuter than my room. Then she has to have a, whoa, y'all, here I am thinking I got Eloise a nice bed. I was basically cheating her out. Hold on. I have to move her bowl. We have to do some rearranging for this because this is the hugest cat bed I've seen in my entire life. Please ignore the fact that these bowls are being off-centered right now because I don't know what to do about it. That's the best I could do. Okay, what else? This is the cutest self-cleaning litter box I have seen in my entire life. And it comes in fun colors and it's smiley. Oh my goodness, do y'all see this face? Like it is happy to be cleaning itself. That is the cutest litter box I have ever seen. Eloise is the most spoiled cat in the entire world. That was one section done. We are still not done with this cat room. Okay, obviously she needs a ball. I know she's a cat, but oh, a meow ball. Not even just a ball, they have meow balls. She can get a meow ball and <gasps> it's a bird and squeaker. Oh my gosh, in real life, Eloise loves these little sticks with like the stuff at the end of it. Oh my gosh. I do think I probably need a chest at this point. We can put our stuff in an organized fashion. Definitely need a scratch post so she can, you know, scratch her claws. What do y'all think? It's so pretty. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot. I forgot. We need a cat door because I think she was like locked out. I think I have to make sure she can get it. Okay, you guys, I just placed a cat door. I literally just put a plant from one of our rooms outside because I'm in the middle of building and I don't even know exactly what I'm doing to be fully honest with you. I'm gonna draw the wall so it meets with her room. There we go, perfect, okay, got that. Then we just need to match the flooring. I also should add some windows. Cats, it's basically like TV for cats when they're looking out the window. They love it. I know I have the decals right here, but I could move them on this side and then put a perfect one like right over the bed. Yay! Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so proud of us. I think we did a pretty amazing job. What do you think? Maybe one more window. Yes, there we go. I am so proud of us. I can't wait for Eloise to see it. This is the fanciest cat room I have ever seen in my entire life. Hey you guys, it is time for the big unveiling of Eloise's fancy room to both our Sims Eloise and our real life Eloise. Well, Eloise, since the time we last saw you, I decided to make you a really fancy room in my game. How do you feel about that? This is her excited face, everybody. She is thrilled! Woo! So we are going to show you, Eloise, your fancy room on the Sims game. What do you think, Ella? We have your litter box. <gasps> she just put the litter box away for some reason. I think you're gonna need that later. Oh, you're playing with the cat wand. Look at this amazing toy, Eloise, we got with your new room. I wish I could give you this toy in real life and it would give you rainbows and sparkles. But, Eloise, let me show you your room. You have your bed and had a litter box until I put it away and you have all these paintings and toys and 
you know, a scratch post and you could eat in here. How do you feel about being on Simps? I think she can't wait. And we can't wait to have her either. We're so excited to have you, little one. Comment down below your favorite animal and we'll see you next time. Also, I think she did pretty good for staying in my lap all of this time. Don't you?